feel that you should brighten your menus, huh? Should ya? Would you like to make your meals exciting, huh? Would ya? What is going on, gang? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. This was a highly requested video on the easiest recipes that I use pretty much day in, day out. I don't eat the same things every single day. That's not a good habit to get into for your pancreas. Anyhow, my favorite go-to quick throw together lunch is frozen veggies. I usually buy organic ones. I mean, this is fast. About a third cup of brown rice. I'm cooking it right now. And a half cup of organic beans. Right from the can, I just rinse them, cook the rice, cook the frozen organic veggies in about, I don't know, a quarter inch of water on medium high. And then you mix it all together, throw whatever stir fry sauce or whatever you want in there. You can put salsa, you can put hot sauce, I don't care. Some salt, some pepper, totally plant-based, and rice and beans together create a complete protein. Cool beans! I will link below the video that I made on protein, my favorite protein powders, the difference between incomplete and complete protein. That's it. Easiest, quickest go-to lunch recipe for me. Maybe even dinner. See you at the next one. How rude of me not even showing you this masterpiece. It's not really a masterpiece. Doesn't look amazing, but you know, I'm the worst for waiting too long to eat and then I get really hungry and then I don't wanna cook. Yada yada, doesn't matter. Complete protein, veggie, there's healthy fats in here. I cooked it in grass-fed butter. Oh yes. If you've seen my previous videos, you've seen this smoothie. However, this is one of my favorite go-tos. Maple syrup, sprouted protein, organic baby spinach, quarter of an avocado, spoonful of cacao powder, not cocoa, cacao is better for you, pure pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling, pure pumpkin, about a quarter cup, a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, a scoop of greens for bone, and two packs of stevia along with a few ice cubes. Let's get this. Forgot to mention, I do also put one whole bottle of water in there. I just refill these kombucha glass bottles. So that's 480 ml that I put in here. Handy dandy green smoothie button. One minute later. <laughs> So that all blended together makes just over two and a half cups per smoothie. So I fill each of these. One I will have with my breakfast and one I will have later on as a snack or with my lunch. Easy as pie. I don't know why they say easy as pie because pie is not easy. Pie is not easy. I tell you what is easy. Uh, uh, a terrible pie. But easy peasy recipe number two. Pacific Cod Portions. Bought that in the freezer section of the grocery store. They are individually wrapped, handy dandy. They go in the oven for 20 minutes. They're in there. And then we've got some just frozen peas and broccoli in a frying pan. A Little bit of water steams them up. Some rice, brown rice is cooking in there, which should be done. And I've got some sweet potato that took four minutes in the Instant Pot on manual if you have an Instant Pot. Gonna put some tamari on there, use some Earth Balance dairy-free spread, and that's that. And here it is, finished product. This took 20 minutes in total because of the cod. And the hits just keep on coming. All right, kids, this is one of my favorites. Two ice cubes, one frozen banana. I repurposed my Bath & Body Works candles. They're now little pantry containers. They're makeup containers, bathroom containers. They're whatever. One tablespoon of cacao powder. Not cocoa, not cocoa. One pack of stevia. Plant-based stevia sweetener. One tablespoon of pure maple syrup. I am using unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I use the Silk brand because it does not contain carrageenan. Carrageenan is a hormonal disruptor, uber bad for you. Don't have any undairy milk, undairy. 
non-dairy milk that has carrageenan. So you put in however much milk you want for your desired thickness. You can figure it out for you. That's all there is to it. This is the Breville Boss. You want something like this to make whatever you're having more bioavailable in your gut. It's also BPA free. Anyway, there's a handy dandy little frozen dessert button that you can't really see. It's not focusing, but here we go. Okay, mine did turn out a little bit more liquidy than I would have liked. That's all right, we're having a smoothie bowl here. This, some kind of nuts, granola, deliciousness. I put some of this on the top, not a whole lot, just a bit. And then, the one bad for you thing in my fridge, I think, <laughs> is this no sugar added Smucker's Sunday syrup caramel. Cause you know, it's okay every now and then. 80-20 my friends, 80-20. There you have it, the world's almost healthiest dessert and I will be enjoying this guy. The last easy peasy recipe for this video, but don't worry, I have tons up my sleeve, so I will be doing more. The suspense is terrible. He this is how I make the fastest oatmeal that I think known to man. That's not entirely accurate. This is Quick Cook Bob's Red Mill certified wheat-free oats. Oats do not contain wheat usually. However, because of the processing, they are always contaminated. So these are certified wheat-free, made in a wheat-free facility. I put some protein powder in there, a banana, a couple packs of stevia. Oh, I also use maple syrup to sweeten these guys some walnuts and some hemp seeds. You can also use dried fruit. Sometimes I use frozen berries, which is also gonna be today. So that's what I'm gonna do. There's all kinds of things you can throw in here and of course can't be complete without a banana. And another thing is that you don't need the packet of oats, like those processed uh, microwave packets. <laughs> You can use the kettle with these quick cook ones. I wouldn't use the kettle with rolled oats. I would use the stove with some almond milk, but because of being fast, just use the kettle. Also, I forgot I am going to use some no sugar added powdered peanut butter as well. You're gonna need a fair bit more water than you'd normally put, and I use a half cup of dry oats. All right, so the water is just boiled. So what I do is I don't put any of the powders in. I don't put the peanut butter or the protein powder in yet. Oh, I only used one pack of stevia as well. I changed my mind with the maple syrup and the banana. It should be sweet enough. Okay, so while that's soaking, the oats are gonna soak up that water. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more. What I also do with the boiling water is I will take the berries and pour a little bit of boiling water over the berries. I will drain that, but I'm just gonna let them warm up and soften a bit. I don't like to put frozen berries in my warm breakfast. So I'm going to add one scoop. That's quite a bit. Normally I just put a tablespoon or so, but I really want a whole serving of protein in these oats. I'm gonna mix that in. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> going to need a lot more water. <laughs> Like I say, normally you could use about a tablespoon. So the protein powder is chocolate flavored. This is going to be delicious. This is going to be like peanut butter chocolate oats. In goes the peanut butter powder. That's gonna soak up even more water. This is going to be a hugely filling breakfast. And there we have it. So we've got some banana in there, the berries, some hemp hearts, some crushed up walnuts. I have powdered peanut butter in there, protein powder drizzled with maple syrup. Unbelievably tasty, fast, full of macros, healthy fats, protein, healthy carbs. And this is going to keep me full well until lunchtime. I'd say I stayed full for about five hours on this guy.
So that's it. Those are my recipes that are quick, easy, healthy, that I do use um, almost daily. And I have got more on the way for you, so stay tuned for that. Please subscribe to my channel. Subscribing really is where the support does come from. It really means a lot to me to see those subscription numbers go up. Please share this channel because there are videos on here that can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. Please hit that little bell notification icon if you would like notifications in future of each time I post a new video. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Make more time for more fun by using quicker, easier recipes. And I'll see you next time. Bye.